वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्राई 2023 बोर्ड पेपर मार्च 20 दैट इज टुडे सो दिस इज द बोर्ड एग्जाम ऑफ केमिस्ट्री पेपर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 द ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर आर्गन क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 ऑप्शन सी लिथियम इज द करेक्ट आंसर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 ऑप्शन सी फ्लोर स्पार इज करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 Vapor density of this this question answer is sixteen. So option C. Fifth question option A. Ag minus one electron yields Ag plus is the correct answer. Question number six option B. Copper hydroxide. Question number seven option D. Benzene. Question number eight option B. Concentrated sulfuric acid. Question number nine option D. Zinc nitrate. Question number ten, option A, copper. Sorry, potassium sulfate. Here you have to understand that this is a method to produce nitric acid. So, and this is above two hundred degrees Celsius, so it will form potassium sulfate. If it is below, it would have been potassium bisulfate. Question number eleven, non-volatile acid property. Option D. Question number twelve, B, ethane. Question number thirteen, D. Acetic acid because this is the only uh, monobasic acid here, so it can form only normal salt. No acid salt is formed here. Then question number fourteen, CnH2n plus two single covalent means all the single bonds, so alkenes. Question number fifteen, phenolphthalein which will turn pink in alkaline solution. Ba uh, match the column A with B. Question number two five marks. Sodium chloride second one. It has high melting and boiling point. Methane three a greenhouse gas. Hydrogen chloride gas four that is has low melting and boiling point. Oxidation reaction five that is zinc losing two electrons and forming Zn two plus. You know oil rig oxidation is loss of electrons. Reduction is gain of electrons. Water one has two shared pair of elec electrons. So one with uh both with hydrogen atoms oxygen and hydrogen come to next in that second question uh so alumina to aluminum conversion first question name the constituent of the electrolyte mixture which has a divalent metal in it i remember what are the electrolyte mixture cryolite fluor spar and alumina so divalent metal is only calcium here so fluor spar formula is calcium fluoride so the answer should be fluor spar so you have to write the name not the formula name the powdered substance x sprinkled on the surface of electrolyte mixture that is powdered coke what is the name of the process hall herold process write the reaction taking place at the electrodes y y is anode z is cathode respectively so y anode means anion that is oxide ion will come Two oxide ions will lose four electrons and form O2 gas. Oxygen gas is released, and at the cathode, aluminium ion will gain three electrons and form aluminium metal. Fill in the blanks. Metals are good reducing agents. Non-polar covalent compounds are bad conductors. Higher pH value of solution, more alkaline it is. Silver chloride is a white precipitate that is soluble in excess ammonium hydroxide solution. Ethene to ethane, that is hydrogenation. State the terms of process. So the first one answer is electron affinity. B answer is catenation. C is Haber's process for ammonia manufacturing. D basic salt. You have to read the question. A type of salt formed by partial replacement of hydroxyl radical. So that should be basic salt. If it is hydrogen. ion then it should be acid salt the ratio so yeah this should be vapor density or you can also write relative vapor density give the structural formulas of the following organic compounds 2 chlorobutane so 1 2 3 4 but a means all single bond second position chlorine so this is the structural formula 1 methanol al means aldehyde so meth means 1 ch3 coh C double bond O. This is a structural formula. Bute two ion. So bute means four. Y and E means triple bond. Second position. One two three four. Second position you have triple bond. Give the IUPAC names of following organic compounds. So one ion two eth. Ion COH is an carboxylic acid. So it's an ethanoic acid. 
one two three four but second position you have alcohol so butane to all all are single bonds or two butanol so this is section a it was very easy come to section b you can attempt any four question but i have solved all the questions so that you can cross check question number three identify the cation okay you have to write the cation here ammonium hydroxide solution added to solution b gives white precipitate which does not dissolve in excess ammonium hydroxide c excess ammonium hydroxide and forming white white precipitate which is soluble zinc only which is not soluble lead calcium will not at all form the precipitate with ammonium hydroxide so it is pb2 plus ion sodium hydroxide solution added to solution c gives white precipitate which is insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide again which can give white precipitate with sodium hydroxide zinc lead and calcium zinc and lead both are soluble in excess ammonium sodium hydroxide only calcium so calcium is the answer fill in the blanks choosing the correct answer from the brackets so here uh, first answer is uh, pbbr2 second one is copper plus 2 most readily discharged arrange the following as per the instructions decreasing order of its reactivity so most reactive is potassium calcium magnesium aluminium this is decreasing order increasing order of non metallic character all of these will be in one period so along the period non metallic character increases so that beryllium carbon nitrogen oxygen decreasing order of valence electrons i have written here valence electrons beryllium 2 fluorine 7 silicon 4 phosphorus 5 so decreasing means f p s i b e that should be correct answer complete and balance the following equation ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide one of the methods to prepare ammonia gas you will get salt plus water plus ammonia so this is the balanced equation copper sulfate plus ammonium hydroxide this is a precipitation reaction so copper hydroxide plus nh4 twice so4 so balanced equation copper with concentrated nitric acid so co copper nitrate will form nitric acid will give you by products no2 and h2o because it is concentrated so this is the balanced equation Question number four, state relevant reason. Hydrogen chloride gas cannot be dried over quick lime. Remember, hydrogen chloride gas is acidic and quick lime is basic. So both will react with each other. So I have written as it reacts with quick lime. So you can just explain it a little bit. Ammonia gas is not collected over water as it is highly soluble in water. Identify the alloy. So all these will give you duralumin and B will give you stainless steel solve numerical problem this is very important so when you read the question you will have the equation also given understand that all of them are in gaseous state because this is burning of ethane a high amount of energy is produced so water will also be in a vapor form so they have given 80 ml of ethane burned in 300 ml of oxygen so first of all 2 is to 7 is the ratio between ethane and oxygen so for 2 moles you need 7 or 2 volume you need 7 volume so for 80 ml you need how much uh, 280 ml of oxygen used but what is given here 300 ml so there should be some unused oxygen so oxygen unused is 300 minus 280 that is 20 ml then what they have asked you composition of the resultant gaseous mixture okay when measured at room temperature okay when measured at room temperature means water you can remove here because at room temperature will be liquid state okay so you can remove water so you can write here only two things okay one carbon dioxide formed that will be see 2 is to 4 ratio means 160 ml and there will be oxygen unused which is 20 ml so that should be your resultant mixture 160 ml of carbon dioxide plus 20 ml of oxygen next question number four uh, ammonia gas from magnesium nitride write balanced chemical equation so mg3 n2 plus 6 h2o yields 3 mgoh twice plus 2 nh3 i have written warm so i think you should mention that why is this method seldom used because this method is costly how do you identify gas formed so this gas which is that ammonia gas gives white dense fumes with glass or deeply in aqueous hcl solution Write one use of uh, following alloys. Bronze used to make medals or statues. Fuse metal for soldering purposes. Draw electron dot structure for the following. This is question number five. 
ammonium ion so you can see here i will just little zoom it okay you should write it like this only uh, first ammonia you have to give the electron dot structure plus h plus so lone pair is given to h plus then you will write one more electron dot structure with a positive charge later you will show the bond line notation with this aroma what this represents coordinate bond a molecule of nitrogen so nitrogen has five valence electrons so two nitrogens it will share three pairs of electrons and form triple bond so there will be one lone pair on each nitrogen balanced chemical equation for the following conversion with conditions ethene from ethanol ethanol to ethene means you have to remove the water so you use the condition what constant sulfuric acid which is uh, drying sorry dehydrating agent and temperature will be 170 degrees celsius ethine from calcium carbide ca c2 is calcium carbide you just put water you will get calcium hydroxide and ethine so this is a balanced equation you to h2o monochloromethane from methane so this is substitution reaction of methane ch4 plus cl2 condition is either diffuse sunlight or heat you will get monochloromethane plus hcl it's already balanced next study the uh, okay study the following observations and name the anions you have to write the names of anions so first for a it should be nitrate ion you may be wondering how it is because a crystalline solid p is bound with constant sulfuric acid say that solid may be any nitrate okay say kno3 potassium nitrate so potassium nitrate with sulfuric acid concentrate what it will give you nitric acid so nitric acid with copper turnings what it will give you nitrogen dioxide gas so therefore the ion ion should be nitrate ion so second one uh, lead acetate paper silvery black which is that gas h2s so h2s how do you get if the salt is containing sulfide ion so when few drops of barium sulfate uh, added to the salt solution q white precipitate is formed which is insoluble in hcl so that should be sulfate ion barium sulfate is white so sulfate ion which is insoluble in hcl question number six define so electronegativity de definitions given here tendency of an atom in a molecule to attract shared pair of electrons towards itself gay lussacs law of combining volumes very important the law of combining volume states that when gases react together to form other gases and when all volumes are measured at the same temperature and pressure the ratio between the volumes of the reactant gases and the gaseous products can be expressed in simple whole number ratio the same sentence can be frame, framed in different ways the empirical formula of an organic compound is chcl2 its relative molecular mass is 168 what is its molecular formula two marks right first calculate empirical formula weight from chcl2 you will get 84 then you have to find n so n will be molecular weight divided by empirical formula weight you will get 2 so 2 into empirical formula if you do you will get molecular formula so it will be c2h2cl4 choose the substances given in the box to answer the following so you have to choose any of these the metal that will not produce hydrogen gas when reacted with dilute acids copper because copper is below hydrogen reactivity series it cannot displace hydrogen the compound that will produce sulfur dioxide gas when reacted with dilute hcl it should be magnesium sulfite sulfites will give you sulfur dioxide with acid the solution of this compound produces dirty green precipitate with anyway dirty green precipitate is ferrous hydroxide so it should be ferrous sulfate state one relevant observation to the copper nitrate solution initially few drops of sodium hydroxide solution is added and then added in excess so initially it will form light blue precipitate which remains insoluble when you add excess nuh okay that is observation burning of ammonia in excess of oxygen it burns with greenish yellow flame in some textbook it is just given green flame so whichever is correct they will take that dry ammonia gas is passed over heated lead oxide so lead oxide is yellow in color so yellow lead oxide reduced to silvery gray lead metal question number 7 name the following organic compounds with same molecular formula but different structural formula structural isomers or if you simply write isomers fine group of organic compounds so second answer b is the homologous series second question give reason ionization potential decreases down a group because atomic size increases you you have to little bit explain it then more number of shells added 
so atomic size increases it will be easy for the metal to lose electron it will be easy for the atom to lose electron so therefore ionization potential decreases ionic compounds do not conduct electricity in solid state because in solid state ionic compounds do not have any free ions which can conduct electricity third one calculate the percentage of phosphorus in the fertilizer superphosphate cah2po4 twice remember phosphorus how do you find it first molecular weight of this that is 234 you are getting phosphorus how many atoms are there two atoms so overall mass of this will be 31 into 2 that is 62 so 62 by 234 into 100 if you do you will get 26.5% so this is a percentage of phosphorus write the empirical formula of c8h18 so when you divide it by common number 2 so you will get 24h9 is the empirical formula answer the following questions with reference to electro refining of copper what is the anode thin sheet of pure copper uh, what do you observe at cathode cathode mass increases or you can also write reddish brown metal deposited write the reaction uh, at the cathode cu2 plus will gain two electrons and form cu question number 8 arrange the following as per instruction increasing order of molecular weight so ch4 one carbon c2h2 second one then c2h4 then c3h6 this is the increasing order of molecular weight preferential discharge the order of preferential discharge at the cathode so ag plus will discharge faster than cu2 plus then zn2 plus then na plus next comes differentiate between the following on criteria given so cane sugar and hydrated copper sulfate using concentrated sulfuric acid see cane sugar with concentrated sulfuric acid will form a black spongy mass of carbon whereas copper sulfate hydrated copper sulfate is blue in color so which is blue is a starting material turns white by absorption of water by sulfuric acid second one sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid type of salts formed hydrochloric acid is monobasic so it will can form only normal salt sulfuric acid is dibasic it can form acid salt as well as normal salt okay next uh, convert the following reactions balanced chemical equation ammonia to nitric acid you can see this is a balanced equation i just little zoom it so this is a balanced equation 4 NH3 plus 5 O2 platinum and 800 degrees Celsius 4 NO plus 6 H2O plus heat sodium hydroxide to sodium sulfate using sulfuric acid. The trick here is which sulfuric acid you are taking that you have to write. So this can form only with dilute sulfuric acid because dilute sulfuric acid is typical acid. Sodium hydroxide 2 NaOH plus H2SO4 dilute gives Na2SO4 plus 2 H2O. Ferrous sulfide to hydrogen sulfide using hydrochloric acid. So hydrochloric acid, you are taking dilute here. FeS plus 2 HCl gives you H2S plus FeCl2. Last question: Choose the answer from the list. These are the uh, list given. Compound which undergoes thermal dissociation. Dissociation is what reversible thermal decomposition. So ammonium chloride is the correct answer. Amphoteric oxide is lead oxide. Copper oxide is not. It is basic. a compound which is a non electrolyte ccl4 it's a non polar covalent compound so it cannot be an electrolyte okay so this is 2023 question paper i hope you have done well in the paper okay if you not no problem focus on the next paper okay take care bye bye